Welcome sports fans, Got Next Gaming and Madden 17 with our New York Jets franchise. We are in week three of season two and getting ready to take on the Buffalo Bills. Yes, our division rival Buffalo Bills with sexy Rexy Ryan, who's no longer there. Uh, but he is in this, in this version of things. He is absolutely there. We're going to go ahead and jump into the game action right away. The Jets are one and one looking to try to extend their win streak after dropping the first game they came back and won um their last game and now we're going to see if we can take apart the bills so we beat atlanta last time around it was a fantastic win for us we didn't think we were going to do so well but our defense has been doing what we expect them to do so the philosophy of my defense has always been bend it don't break we give up field goals we're okay with that we don't want to give up the touchdowns we don't want to give up the big plays we are okay with them driving down the field as long as we can stop them before they get to the end zone. And again, like I said, that is my focus. Our offense is ranked 32nd. Our defense is ranked 10th. You can see that right there. We want to improve upon that. This defense has the makings to be number one as far as I'm concerned. Do need some help in the cornerback situation. I kind of traded away the cornerbacks that I had to pick up other pieces and make it work. But we have a rookie linebacker who's been just completely dominant. And we're loving him. Ellis has been fantastic. Right now, the Bills are going to get the ball. And we can see they're bringing in Cardell Jones, who was like third on their roster, their depth chart last year. But they're going to hand off to McCoy for the first run. He's going to have a little juke there. And then he's going to be brought down after a short game. But let's go take a look at their starting lineup here in the offense. So taking a look at that line. And then we're going to take a look at them backs. Carlos Williams and LaShawn McCoy and Sammy Watkins. Got to watch out for him. He's a big threat. They're going to throw it out to McCoy on the flat there. He's going to get the first down and a few more before being brought down. Down to the 41-yard line. Now, their own 41. He has a first down. They have a first down. Here's a third down and five now. Jones in the shotgun looking to throw. Throws over the middle. Hits Wheaton, who's wide open there. Nobody in, in his way. And he gets... A few more yards after the catch as well. Now we have a third down and 10 on our own 30. They are driving. Here's Jones with all day to throw. Nobody doing anything. Finally, he gets rid of the ball. Gets it to Allen, who comes back out of the end zone to make the catch and get a first down down to the six-yard line. And that was an absolutely ridiculous-looking play as the defense was just standing in their zones and not doing anything where there was nobody around them. But, I mean, it is what it is. So we have a third down and goal here. We sack. Cardell Jones in the backfield, bringing him back to the 13-yard line. And again, that philosophy sits, bend, don't break. So they're going to attempt the field goal here. They put it up, and it's good for three points. Buffalo takes the early lead here with just three minutes left to play in the first three to nothing Buffalo Bills. So here comes our rookie quarterback, Brady Cadella. He had 387 yards, a touchdown, and four interceptions on the season. Got to cut down on those mistakes. A lot of them are my fault. And I am just terrible at playing quarterback. I finally figured it out. And, yeah, we're going to have to figure something out with that. So here is Forte taking the run from the first play from scrimmage for the Jets. He gets a first down and much, much more there as he gets 18 yards on the carry, moving the chains down to the 48 yard line. Nice run by Matt Forte. And that's like two weeks in a row that we've had a decent run out of him. And it looks like the running game may be starting to open up a little bit more for us again as we have struggled with that running game. Since starting Madden 17, just cannot get a good, consistent running game going as it seems like the AI plays that run much, much better. But here is Buffalo's defense, their starting defense, and we'll take a look at their line and their linebackers as well as their backs. And something to watch out for here, Ronald Darby out there. He's going to be a key in this game as well. So throwing the ball there, and we kind of get hit as we throw. And there's Darby, as I said, comes up and gets the interception. And it'll be his first interception of the day. So Buffalo takes over now on 34-yard line, their own 34. Third down and 14 from the shotgun. Looking to throw. He's getting chased down. He's able to get rid of the ball, but oh, but completely overthrows his own man. Throws it right at Josh Robinson, the cornerback, who gets the pick himself. So we get the ball going back the other way for us. Second down and seven now. We're into the second quarter, and there's a fumble on the play. And Buffalo comes away with it, not like Forte. He usually fumbled the ball, but he coughs it up. And you know what? We couldn't even challenge it. It looked like he was down. I can't challenge fumbles in this game, and I don't know why. I thought that was a thing that we could do, but I guess not. But here's Cordell Jones again with all day to throw. Way down the field deep. Hits Watkins. 
on that ridiculously deep route. And it's just one of those things that just boggles my mind about how they're able to sit back there all day. I can't do that to save my life with my quarterback. I don't know why, but he just sits back there. He doesn't even move, and then he just tosses it up and then make the completion. Down to the 14-yard line. Here's Long Sean McCoy, who's cutting and juking and finding his way into the end zone for the touchdown. And, yeah, so after the fumble, we give up the touchdown. It's now 10 to nothing, and that philosophy did not hold there. But we're going to start going on the offensive. You're going to start getting a little aggressive. Cadella finally makes his first completion to Landry there, and he's looking to throw again, and he hits Landry once again over the middle for another first down, moving it to the 40 of the Buffalo Bills. We have five minutes, a little, a little under six minutes left to play here in the half. And we're going to try to make some things happen here. So here's Cadell looking to throw again. Hits Decker on the cross route. Is able to get up in there, turn it up field, and get the first down. So moving the chains once again. Cadell looking to throw. Sees his open man. It's Decker once again on the cross route. Gets the first down. And a few more on that play. Down to the 13-yard line. Now we're driving. We're down to the 5 on a second down to 2. Slant route into the end zone. Jones, he's in there. Touchdown, Jets. J-E-T-S. Jets, Jets, Jets. Touchdown, Landry. Unbelievable. Nice way to come back there towards the end of the half as we kind of had 10 unanswered points. And now the Jet offense is going to start. Seems like it's going to start kicking here. Hopefully kicking and screaming into the end of this game with a win. But we'll see. The Buffalo Bills have plenty of time left on the clock. They're going to hand it up to McCoy, who's juking and jump, jumping around there. And he's a very shifty back, and he gets himself a first down after a couple of moves there. Third down and 11, Jones looking to throw. Hits, no, completely throws it off. The accuracy there was terrible, and he gets it to Robinson once again, who has his second pick of the game, and we are down on the 38-yard line here. Maybe we can drive it in for a touchdown. Maybe we can at least come away with a field goal here to tie it up before the end of the half. Let's see what the Jets have in store here. First down and 10 from the 24. Goodell looking to throw, has a flag, hits Landry. As he makes a catch, falling out of bounds, but it might be on the offense the way things are looking. Maybe holding, and it is holding, and it is on the offense. After all, James Carpenter there with the holding call. It'll be a first down and 20 now from the 34, going backwards instead of forwards. Jones looking to throw, hits Decker on the cross route. He's able to make the catch, break a tackle, and get the first down, down to the 13-yard line. Nice running catch, 17 yards, run after catch. On that one for Decker. Great play there. So here's Cadella Jones looking to throw. Hits Landry. Breaks the tackle. Gets into the end zone. Touchdown Jets. J-E-T-S. Jets, Jets, Jets. Touchdown Landry. Gotta love it there. As we take the lead 13-10. to 10, Going to go for the extra point there. To see if we can't get that extra point for 14. And go, away, go into the locker in halftime with the lead. Nice out route there as he makes the perfect cut. And is able to have enough separation. That throw ball was thrown perfectly as well. As he was look as he turns, the ball's right there in his hands. And it was absolutely beautiful. And Landry here as becoming a star for us, as we can see here in some of these replays and highlights. He is doing exactly what we are asking him to do. What we what we traded him for. We went and traded a lot to get him. So that's what we're gonna do. So here we are in the second quarter. We get the ball again. Here's Holman who makes a nice catch, gets a first down, and a, and then some nice big catch and run there. Probably about 25 yards on the play. Had 22 yards run after the catch. Uh, probably maybe closer to 30 yards on the play. But that'll bring us to halftime. And we have a 14-10 to 10 lead going into the locker room as the Jets offense is starting to click here, it seems like, finally. And again, folks, I'm going to say that uh, after their touchdown and our fumble, I kind of got angry. And I started playing with a little more anger here in this. And we can see it's starting to show. 196 yards passing so far. 32 yards rushing. Still can't get that running game going like I want to. But we're going to keep continue to try. Third down and seven here. We take it in the third. We throw it on to Decker. That cross route has been working for us all day. He breaks a tackle. Gets the first down. And a few more. About 14 yards on that play right there. Getting us to the 39-yard line. That is 216 yards and two touchdowns with an interception for Cadella so far having a great day and again we're going to hit Decker on that crossing route because they have not been able to stop it he breaks the tackles gets away and gets a first down there almost stepping out of bounds nice play there nice awareness uh keeping it in bounds and running it up and getting that first down five catches for 74 yards now here we are down to the 13 yard line with two minutes left to play in the third second down and eight Cadella under center 
snaps the ball, tosses it to Powell, who runs it to the outside, gets into the end zone for a touchdown, a rushing touchdown by the Jets there. Nice run on that one. J-E-T-S, Jets, 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 touchdown. Bilal Powell, unbelievable as you see him go to the outside there, gets right around the corner and is patient on the run as he waits for the blocks to happen and gets it into the end zone to take a commanding lead here now late in the third quarter as we ate up most of the clock there on that one. We click, kick the extra point. It is 21 to 10. 11 plays, under 15 yards for 3 minutes and 51 seconds. We'll take it. We'll absolutely take that as we now come to the end of the third quarter. It is 21 to 10. New York Jets, Buffalo takes over here in the fourth. On our 37-yard line, they have a third down and 10 here. Jones from the shotgun looking to throw. Again, all sorts of time. Throws it to the outside. Hits McCoy, but he drops it, and he is drilled as he catches the ball. And it looks like it was Calvin Pryor who's down and he's hurt. Hits McCoy to jar the ball loose, but hurts himself on the play. We'll have to see what's going to happen with that injury now. So now we have the ball on our own 34, third down and 10. Cadella looking to throw. It's Landry, and he breaks the tackle on the hour up. There's a flag on the play, and he's going to bring it down all the way to, looks like the 30-yard line of the Buffalo Bills. But I have a feeling this one's going to be called back, folks. And, yes, it is holding, and it is on James Carpenter again. And that is a huge one right there. Dude, you got to stop with the holding. That was a huge play. And here, Cardell, I mean, uh, Brady Cadella gets hit. For a sack, and it'll bring up a fourth down and 18 to the 49-yard line, our own 40-yard line as we went backwards on that play, and we are forced to punt the ball. So they're starting off on their own six-yard line, and it looks like they make a, a throw and catch to Sammy Watkins here on the 27. On a fourth down and seven, they're going for it with 20 seconds left. They throw and hit Watkins again for the first down, but no, he drops the ball. He's hit as the ball gets in there, and it comes loose. It's an incompletion with 18 seconds left to play. We get the ball back, and that should do it, folks, for this one. As you see him catch the ball, and it's batted out of his hands, and it's by Ellis. That was Ellis, the rookie linebacker, who, I said, has been a beast. Going to the victory formation, we put down the knee, and we walk away with a victory here against our division rival, Buffalo Bills and Rex Ryan, 21-10, to as it was a great game for the offense and a good game for the defense as they kind of finally settled down and started to do what we wanted them to do all game long and they're able to do it as we finish off the game here so 21 to 10 is your final score the Jets come away with their second win of the season and a back-to-back -back win here we'll take a look at Cadella's numbers 83 percent 292 yards two touchdowns an interception 20 of 24 127 passer rating here's 18 for 60 for Forte and then Bilal Powell figured in with that touchdown run he had 15 yards as well on two carries take a look at our Wide receivers, Landry led the way, six catches for 111 yards and two touchdowns, but it wouldn't have been anything without Decker catching those five for 74 and making things happen and moving those chains for us there as he did so, so well. We'll take a look at the injury list here. It looks like Calvin Pryor is down for four weeks with a shoulder tear. That is a big loss for us as well. That's going to hurt the defense. He is an 85 overall, and we're going to need uh, to make some moves here to kind of make it work out for us. So we're going to take on the Bengals next. They're 2-1 and one as well. We're going to make a few moves to make the uh, safety position a little bit stronger for us before we do so uh, in that. So let's take a look and see what we have uh, going on here. It looks like we're going to take Buster Screen, who's one of our backup cornerbacks at this point. He's a 78 as a strong safety. So we'll stick him in there and see how that works out for us in the next couple of games. But that's going to do it for this one, folks. I want to thank you guys for stopping by. Please leave a like for the video. Subscribe for more Jets action here on Got Next Gaming. I will see you around the channel, and goodbye now.